The final horse in the field we're going to talk about is the Melbourne Cup winner from last year, Gold Trip, uh, Kieran Ma and Dave Eustace, obviously. James McDonald jumps on board. That's uh, no negative whatsoever. He knows a thing or two about winning a Melbourne Cup. Tom, what are you doing with Gold Trip? Uh, it's going better than last year. Are they going to run, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you'd have to listen to every media outlet in the build-up to the cup. And um, is he running? Is he not oh, running? Look, oh, the he, build up to how the much cup. water are they going to have to put it's on the like track? Probably Diva in two thousand and five. Yes. Will she? Won't she? It's I mean, they, the <laughs> that Cox Plate day was it was a like it was a good three on the times, right? He yeah, ran three point one seven four two. He ran, I thought he ran really he well. Ran the fastest yeah. four hundred and two hundred on I mean, Cox Plate, and it was enormous. And like, how good at, at this caper are Australian bloodstock? The last two years, they've used the Cox Plate as a trial for Gold Trip to going into the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> he, no, honestly, he was not put into the race last year, and he was straight out the back, straight buried on the fence this year. Did you year. hear what Jamie Spencer said? I, I don't Jamie know. Spencer hopped off and said, "Gee, Mooney Valley is a tight turning track, isn't oh, that's it?" That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. An owner wasn't very happy with his ride, <laughs> let alone before he got on well, the horse, let alone off it. Um, Imagine, imagine coughing that in a Cox Plate. Look, I'm not... I, I, you I, haven't thought to have a, a watch your race or walk the track? Obviously, I'm being facetious when I say they've used the Cox Plate as a barrier trial. But what I'm saying is, is he, has we ran, get it. he has ran really well last year on to winning the Cup. And he's ran really well this year going into the he Cup. He better this year, I reckon. If the rain comes, if the storms hit and um, we get a downgrade, he will very likely start favourite. Yeah, yeah wow. Um, I, I had all these Equal. notes about... Uh, firm tracks and, and the horse and I'm scared to say any of them now because I, I feel like Shane's going to shut them down but it, the the difference in prep this year versus last year is completely different. I know that the horse can run well on good tracks but last year the horse was seeing a soft seven, heavy eight a good three and, and then a heavy eight before running on a soft seven in the Melbourne Cup. This year hasn't seen anything better than a good four and, and twice on a good three. I'm not saying that the horse can't run well on a good track but the preparation has to be different in oh, terms look, of being oh, a little bit jarring. I'm, I'm actually worried that uh, if the track is a bit too firm, he's, he's just going to get a bit cooked. It, it's got to be all about, like obviously, you know, having a little bit of a joke around the firm track narrative, but no, the trainers know the horse, right? Um, he had a disappointing prep, I suppose you'd say, during the Absolutely. Sydney autumn. Yeah. Well, he was, he was plain. Yeah. He was plain. But right? he must have just been cooked from the Melbourne Cup. Like, it, it, it's, it's a hard thing to back up after a Melbourne um, Cup, and not many horses uh, can do it. He, he, was, he was, like, banned from racing in Victoria when he first came yeah, out here as well right. from the vet. I was on so him at the Cox Plate. He's clearly has... Oh, no, he's, he's, he's clearly, yeah, he, he clearly he, has... I, I got him in the 70s or something for the oh. Cox Plate. And who's set the oh. start favourite? Um, yeah. Let's not make this show all about you, Tom. <laughs> but, um, Isn't it? Uh, it never is. Tom Haylock, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it, it, the horse obviously has manageable issues. Um, so obviously, you know, the firm track, he might be able to bring out his best. Um, yeah. He's still a class animal. He's an amazing horse. Of and course. He'll run well. He, if it is firm, though, it might be like a Caulfield Cup finish where he's a few lengths off those ones that are on mm. speed and, and a little bit stronger at the end. I mean, he's been spending a lot of time at the beach, and like I went down and saw him uh, the day before the Cox Plate. Actually, get in, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> get your speedos on, mate. I in. did actually. Good. Uh, actually, I had these very pants on, and, and, and rolled them up, and, and rolled them up. I was going to say you could take last year's uh, laid back with bet pair yeah. shoes with you in, oh, into the ocean. Oh, believe me, they. I think they probably went in actually. To be Cork's frank. Take it. Uh, no, get I think they've the been, they've been thrown level. out a long, long time ago. Um, but it was look. He's he's had a very like. I don't think they're galloping him much because they don't need to. He's obviously having a lot of racing. Um, their way of managing his legs is just to get him down to the beach. And, and I don't think you'll see a, well, Mick Price will disagree with me, but I don't think you'll see a happier, healthier horse there on, uh, on Cup Day. Like, he, he's flying. Oh, he's flying. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, and they've clearly figured out how to manage him and how to manage um, him getting on those, on those good tracks. It's just going to be a case of, you know, you've got to carry the weight. Is the 58 and a half really... As bad as what it would have been once upon a time, probably not. So it is. Yeah, there's mm. there's there's a few things there, but look, he's, he's a chance. There's no way. Does he can... settle closer from Barry Two at all, or does he have to get through traffic? Does it actually give him a chance? I think that's well, stuck running. If he gets breaks, he can. Well, but I think potentially allows him to, to settle further forward without mm. without obviously spending any any mm. petrol, and he'll just uh, he'll lob probably behind the speed, they, again, will we'll probably just allow what happens around him to dictate. But that's the great thing with him. You, you can just be dictated to and, and end up where, you, where you're happy. Yep. Any final comments on Gold Trip? It's a wait for the weather and the market for me, yep. whether I decide to make him a winning position or not. I've got him fifth. Yep. 
and Pip as well. I'm laying the place. Uh, I think uh, very short, short to place, and um, I'm going to risk the fact that, yeah, I think the, the term tracks are going to get him. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.